A slip of the tongue. Phelps, Bukowski. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. Alright, so I guess the hot sheet is something that they've been looking for that has been stolen, I guess. Where the more vent car uh, 6 Wex, 2nd Street at 12.17 p.m. So we're looking for a greenish car, I think? That's I can't remember. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Another That's chase right away. 1247, Detective Phelps, requesting immediate backup. Let's get him. Pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser He's going fast. Oh shit, he put off. Let's get him. Come on. Does the thing go any faster? Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. I did. Don't tell me what to do. You tell me that all the time when I chase people. Laying into his wheel arches doesn't seem to be working. James Phelps, take this guy out. Slow down, idiot. All right, all right. Maybe that was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get break out of the car now. I'll call it in. I recognize Hands that behind your head. Papers. He's a cop. I don't see. <laughs> he can't get out of the car when I'm like parked in front. I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Coombs Automotive. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Oh, he just bought the car. Wait, wait. When did he? What's today? What's the date today? I don't know. I mean, it looks like he just bought the car like a little bit ago. Shit, dude. All right, let's let's ask him some stuff. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. And the ownership papers? From the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. It looks top notch to me. I don't know. <laughs> A lot easier, probably. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. You better give us something. Criminal record, bruh. You got a criminal record. I ran because because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Wacky backy. <laughs> the spliff is a little too spliffy, if you ask me. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. He made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You've got to be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence. And have him oh, that kind of sucks, dude. He didn't do anything, bruh. He just got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. <laughs> All right, let let's see if this R Richard Coombs fellow is as honest of a car salesman as Mr. Dewey was. Coombs Automotive Co. 3:31 p.m. It's been like three hours. Not another step. 
I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely Are you sure? perfect for you. I can't just waddle forward. Detective Phelps, <laughs> LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. That's a joke, too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. Cops can, like, talk about shooting people like that? It seems like a common thing. Alright. I wouldn't mind it, though. I mean, he's Here pretty he weird. Got the original pink slip there, too. Alright, let's check these documents out. Gene Archer. 146. North Fremont. North Fremont Avenue. All right. I look at the back of it. Marquee Printing Company. Okay. So we gotta maybe go there and see if they're selling people illegally the the proof of purchases. I'm not quite sure. Wait, no, come on. I want to see that. That's Cliff. Cliff Harrison. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. Yeah, he did buy it. All right. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Let's see if this guy is as honest as he says. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Uh, it seems like he's telling the truth. Um, he is kind of blinking, but he's not like, yeah, it's truth. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Okay. So you got to figure out who this person is. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. All right, so he's being very cooperative, it seems like. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed, in a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Okay. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. <sighs> this is going to be a hard one. I kind of want to say that he's lying now because he's changed his demeanor. I might actually use the first intuition mark of the game. Remove an answer. How can I prove that he's lying? I don't think I can prove that he's lying, right? That's a lie, Coombs. You're printing the slips. This whole racket comes back to you. So, I'm some kind of criminal kingpin, son. I can't wait to see you prove it. Sorry. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's truth now. Okay, so his demeanor changed, but... It's it still truth. Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Check payment details. Let's see how much he bought the car for. Maybe it's probably really cheap. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Okay, so he's obviously lying now. His demeanor has changed a lot more. Um, so he... And he's also shaking a little bit, so yeah. 
Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. I mean, yeah, I'm not paying for my rent in cash, you know, that's, I don't blame them, like, and it's a suspicious transaction, he obviously knew it was suspicious, so. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. He's obviously lying again. <laughs> Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coach. I thought I got it wrong the way he was yelling at me. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. No, he, he gave me all the answers. Leave him alone, dude. I know you, you're, well, you're tr pretty trigger fin. But we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. So let's call R and I. See what they know about this Gene Archer. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Any messages? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thank you. We're going over to the station and interview this James Belasco fellow and see if we can get any more information. We've been doing really well with our interviews so far, though. But actually, we might go to this address first before we uh, interview him. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station, see what this Belasco guy has to say. You know the way. You can drive. Well, this uh, is a dud, so I guess going? we'll just go back to the station. Central Police Station, 3.48 p.m. Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Can you give me a call, please? Okay. I gave his wife a tack. I said, I'll spare him while they're away. I say we bust in there and find From the goddamn Boston. evidence. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. You think talk is cheap? Try hiring a lawyer. James Belasco. It's the same address. Cool Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Mmm, maybe. I'm pretty sure he's in on it. If he has the same, uh, address. It's just an empty lot. Pissed me off. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. So it's obviously doubt. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Okay, so he's obviously in on it. <laughs> Archer must be the girl who sells the cars back as well. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. Uh, 
I can't I can't figure out which one to pick. I it's either it, I mean the fake address is the same thing as her ownership papers. So, but I don't think his ownership papers like prove that it's fake. So I think it's her ownership papers that proves them out. Yes. Oh, we got it. Printed on your paint. <sighs> She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? Ooh. I can taste the blood. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state line? I don't know. I just deliver them. You obviously don't want to make eye contact with me. I can see right into your soul, Mr. Belasco. That's telling me I'm going to doubt you. Give me something, Belasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. So then why was the vehicle sold here? So she... Like, so that they could just make a quick buck or something? Like, doesn't add up to me. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. I can definitely feel the game getting harder at this point in time. I do think he's doubting we need to get information out of him. So if we need information and we think he's, like, half truthful, you have to doubt him. Yeah! Velasco, you we got it. With the DA? Cough it up. Now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. And we'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. Yeah. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. Lead. Oh, thanks, there. Ray. Hell yeah, Ray. Ray, MVP, dude. Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to apprehend her in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, like down below, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.